Ubisoft is the one responsible for making my childhood awesome by giving up games like Assassin's Creed 2, Watch Dogs 1, Splinter Cell Conviction, and Far Cry 3, and more. And now, it gives games like this. Oh, hell no, man. What the fuck, man? So, what went wrong? And yeah, if you're wondering, this is not gonna be the history analysis video of every Ubisoft game, but if we hit 4 subscribers in this video, I will make this video or 20 subscribers away, so subscribe. So Ubisoft was so popular in the 2010s, could it produce games like Assassin's Creed 1, 2, Brotherhood, Revelation and 3, and continues to give Splinter Cell Conviction more games in the future, it was promising. Everything was going well, but in 2019, cracks began to appear. Players and critics started to notice issues like pushed back release dates, buggy launches, and what I think they missed the most is lack of conviction. See, before 2012, Assassin's Creed was focused on a goal with Desmond to save the world and which leads us to see one of the best stories ever in Assassin's Creed. But after Assassin's Creed 3, where Desmond dies, they didn't know what to do. Honestly, the first introduced a POV character, which is basically us because he don't speak a word in the game. His job was to just go back to the ancient time. There was no good modern day stories. And then they started delaying games. Far Cry 6 and Rainbow Six Quarantine were postponed it multiple times. Why am I speaking the British accent? I don't know. The quality of the game launches. Now look at the Star Wars Outlaws graphics. And now look at the Assassin's Creed Unity graphics. Imagine losing your own game which was released a decade ago. Huge L. Absence of innovation. Innovation is a key in gaming industry. However, many recent titles leading to widespread disappointment. Player craves fresh ideas but often find recycled game mechanics. Similar themes. Leadership issues. Just look at the Ubisoft team in 2007. That game is made by around 150, between 150 and 200 people. So we're gonna go and, and check all the teams. There's like around 10 different teams, all separated by, by feature. So and now in 2024. Oh, hell no, man. What the fuck, man? Now we know. Imagine being excited for a game release, then finding out the studio's workforce environment is dysfunctional. Combine this bad news with bugs and delays and it engulfs the community. Here are some reaction from the gamers. Quote I used to trust Ubisoft completely. Now I don't feel like I know them at all. Second, games that used to be on my wish list are now put on my boycott list. Pure wokeness and pushing an agenda. They chosen to destroy the Japanese history by making Yasuke gay or non-binary. Now Yasuke was African origin who served as a samurai to Damiyo Oda Nabungo. I'm, I'm sure I'm pronouncing his name right between 1581 and 1582, during the Sengoku period until the Nobunga's death and gets nowhere mentioned that Yasuke was gay, straight up disrespect to the Japanese history and that's why you see delays and fans outrage cause they ain't buying your crap. Storyline is not up to the mark. See Assassin's Creed and Watch Dogs and Splinter Cell and Far Cry were much better. The story of Ezio Auditore in Rome the story of Aiden Priest in Chicago, the story of Sam Fisher in whatever the hell that city is in the game. It was amazing. Like, I imagine going back to Assassin's Creed, going back to the 1100s, going back to the 1200s, 1300s, 1500s. The story was awesome. The music, the background music was awesome. They make you feel like you were in the ancient times. It, it was amazing. And then you have this crazy ass Assassin's Creed game.
anyways this video is so much longer than it already is and let's just me saying i was just writing the script and i was just reading some points but recording this video and i just come up to the part that i've played i'm just playing splinter cell conviction right now i've just ended it and what a goddamn game it was what a goddamn game ubisoft single-handedly making some non not so famous games that are you supposed to be one of the best games out there so i'm just gonna say that what happened to ubisoft man this was supposed to be something else this was supposed to be amazing and now it's just random bullshit and it it upsets me it upsets me that how high you can be and now how low you are right now it disappoints me and it's never gonna end so yeah I'm not chipping about it. We can do nothing about it. I'm not the game owner. I will never be the game owner. But Ubisoft, if you're watching this video, I'm sure you're not. But if you're watching this video, if any of the employee watching this video, just give us the OG games with better graphics and better storylines. We will accept it. Please. Please, Ubisoft. This is in request. Thank you. But this is going to be my full-fledged opinion like that I just say don't push any agenda. If the person was gay, make him gay. If the person was not gay, don't make him gay. As simple as that. I, that's no rocket science. It's simple. And I hope you understand that. Make sure to like. Make sure to subscribe. And yeah, Ubisoft, if you're watching this video, I just want to say, listen to the fans. The fans are not going to betray you. They love you and they will buy your games no matter how crap you make them. So why not make a good game? Listen to the fans and they will never give you bad advice. Thank you, subscribe. Splinter Cell Conviction Remake or make another Splinter Cell game. I need the Sam Fisher.